Hi guys, uh, in this video you'll see me uh, check out uh, my new uh, flexible solar panels. Uh, and since it's a tight fit, uh, I also confirmed the uh, layout uh, on the roof of, uh, of my van. At the end of this video I'll discuss what it was for me to buy these panels directly from China and the inherent risks, risks involved uh, with uh, such a buy. Uh, but let's start the video now. Okay, I just received my solar panels from China, including some accessories, which I'll open a little bit later. One major problem I have is the fact that, as you can see, there's a, a bend in the carton here, as well as something out here, is that the way I received it when it came off the truck I could see that the FedEx uh, person bended at least 15% uh, or so as you can see is that the sides they have the same thick probably inch wide cardboard panel as well that is fairly well protected and these are the three solar panels in between as you can see it's uh, pretty stiff cardboard they are very flexible get this one out of the way Start with the second bo box. Well, it's uh, fairly well packaged. It's uh, really filled up with foam, or foam board, all the empty spaces. So let's see what they include. They include quite a bit of cable. I have a remote meter for the solar controller. I have a Link Solar um, roof entry system for the cables. I'll leave that open. That's foam. Uh, then, of course, 
an MPPT solar charge controller, the App Solar. It's a tracer. And some small stuff. Let's see. I got a tool to cut cables, cable cutter. I got a box full of uh, solar connectors, cable connectors, and I got a tool to connect these to the cable, or cables. So that was uh, quite fast. Um, I didn't expect it, but uh, it was here within uh, three or four days by air uh, and FedEx. So very satisfied. Passenger side is uh, parallel to the what I call the rain gutter. And you can see how it follows the curve of the roof to the other side. You probably can see that there's uh, on the driver's side, there's probably uh, about three inches, two and a half, three inches left that I can use so I can center the panel and still have enough room to curve the, the wires towards the rear. And then the wires from the other two panels that are in front of here, they, they have sufficient room to be guided uh, to the rear where it enters, uh, enters the vehicle. We measure it exactly. It is uh, three and a half inches that's left. So that's wide enough uh, for all the cables to be guided through. I'm more than satisfied because as far as I can tell, this area is a little bit below the, the rim, although the center of the roof sticks out a little bit, uh, but it, it is it couldn't be more hidden than it is right now. And that is something you really cannot compare with the rigid panels because they're really high on top and very visible. Uh, and this keeps my van a little bit uh, stealthier. I'm a little bit lower here at street level uh, than the van, but the van is also tilted a little bit to the street, towards the street, and there's absolutely nothing visible on the roof right now. And again, from the other side, nothing to see, although it's a little bit tilted towards the other side. Hi guys. Uh, I still wanted to talk a bit about getting these panels and buying directly from China. But I want to mention up front that uh, Link Solar, who supplied these panels, is also a sponsor of my website. I did pay for the panels and I tried to be objective, uh, but I wanted you to know uh, what parts of the process I was concerned about. Normally I have no issues buying smaller items directly from China. But with the more expensive uh, things like the solar panels, uh, there are fewer guarantees. And if you buy directly from a manufacturer, like in the US, uh, there are more guarantees if you buy through a company like Alibaba or AliExpress, or as in the United States, uh, 
for instance, uh, through Amazon. When I decided to go with these flexible panels, I had two major concerns. Uh, the size of the panels, uh, as well as some, some of the issues that uh, came with the first generation of these flexible panels. First, with the limited amount of space available on my roof, I had to find the appropriate uh, size panels. Uh, and with the length of these panels that I have, uh, close to the width of the roof, uh, there's virtually no um, space unused. The second issue was that some of the older panels uh, had an issue with some uh, water intrusion and early deter deterioration of the uh, solar cells. With the newer ones um, that have an ETFE uh, delamination, um, the, the water intrusion is hopefully uh, taken care of, uh, while the back contact um, solar cells uh, are really of a better quality than, uh, than the old ones. There are not that many sources for flexible solar panels. Uh, you, you'll find some on, on Amazon, uh, but uh, Link Solar was able to supply me with the right size panel uh, and they use a good quality uh, solar cell. All communications uh, went through email, which was sometimes a struggle, but that's probably uh, a cultural thing. Uh, but they always responded quickly uh, and appropriately. When the order was placed, it was made clear that the production would take about two weeks and that was on the point. Uh, and then they were air freighted and uh, delivered by FedEx uh, to the front of my door um, within about three days. Remember, the import taxes were my responsibility. Uh, they worked out fine. Uh, FedEx uh, called me for a solar cell worksheet, which was supplied by uh, Link Solar to me. Um, and after they took care of that, uh, about a day later, I received the panels. Uh, and no import tax, extra import taxes were paid, but that's not guaranteed. As you saw in the video, the, the panels were protected quite well with this thick cardboard material, uh, and the entire process was really fairly easy. Uh, and would I do it again? Uh, yes, solid yes, I think so. I hope this information is uh, of some use to you all, uh, but if you have questions or want to make a comment, uh, you can do that here below the video. Um, and when you're at it, uh, you can like the video or subscribe as well. See you next week. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.